Thank you, Jesus. God bless somebody today. God bless you as you are coming. God bless you. My generation shall praise the Lord. Our generation shall praise the Lord. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Sanusi Mustafa, God bless you. God bless you. Yusa, God bless you. Mary, thank you for coming. This is the day that the Lord has made. We all will rejoice and be glad in this day. Sonia, God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for coming. This is uh, our Sunday, August 12, 2023. Prayer, God, prayer party. Morning prayer party. Hallelujah. Lem, God bless you. Nika, God bless you. Chad, God bless you. Audrey, God bless you. Timothy, God bless you. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Hallelujah. Our God is faithful. The Lord is faithful. Hallelujah. God is faithful. Oliver, God bless you. Love, God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. This morning, we'll be talking about the faithfulness of God. Hallelujah. Yesterday, we talked about his sovereignty. Hallelujah. And we are here to pray. Hallelujah. Mercy, God bless you. Thank you for joining all the way from Togo. God bless you. God bless you from wherever you are joining from. The Lord be with you. The Lord bless you. The God that I'm introducing to you is faithful. God bless you. The Lord bless you. We're going to continue with the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 14, 15. Hallelujah. God is faithful. Our God is faithful. The maker of the universe is faithful. Whatever he says will happen to you will surely come to pass. It is the God who watches over his word that they shall come to pass. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Hallelujah. My generation shall praise the Lord. Our generation shall honor God. Our children shall honor God. Our family members will honor God. We will be under the rulership and the leadership of God Almighty. Through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you, Gigi. God bless you. Thank you, James. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we adore you. May you share this. Hallelujah. May you share this life. It will do good to somebody too. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Today we are going to pray. I'm here. It's a... Our morning prayer party, hallelujah. A morning prayer party. Remember, the Lord told me to meet them where they are. And this is the opportunity. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad. Sherry, God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We will praise the Lord. We will honor him. Hallelujah. Great King. Worthy of our praise. So remember, uh, we yesterday we talked about uh, the sovereignty of God. That when the children of Israel was were camping on their way to the wilderness, they were camping at a place the Lord directed, instructed them to camp at, and then they saw Pharaoh, who changed his mind. After he has allowed Moses to leave Egypt with the Israelites, the Israelites now at the camp saw the Israel uh, the Egyptians coming, and great army, chariots and charioters and all the ammunition from of uh, Egypt coming against them. Yesterday we said that it was normal that people will fear that the Israelites will will fear, they will tremble, they will worry, they will cry, they will, they will regret even leaving Egypt. They will regret and they will complain of uh, why Moses moved them or forced them to leave Egypt. In the word of the, 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 the God, 
in God's word or in the Bible, the Bible tells us that they asked Moses, did you take us out of Egypt to bring us here so that we can die here in the wilderness in this place? So Moses told them in verse so Moses told them in verse 14, What trouble? Why are you crying? Do not worry that the blood will fight your battle, that you yourself will not have to lift your finger to to for your defense. Hallelujah. Jackie, God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So you will not lift your finger to fight for your defense. For your defense. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My brothers and my sisters, this morning I have come so that we can pray the word of God. This morning we want to talk about the faithfulness of God. Whatever God has spoken concerning your life is surely coming to pass. So whatever the storm is, the Lord is calling us to faithfulness, to trustworthiness. Hallelujah. He wants us to trust him. Trust the Lord your God. Trust the Lord your maker. He will never abandon you. Brothers and sisters, continue to type so that we can we will spend more time here. If we don't stop, we don't type on the screen, it's going to froze. Hallelujah. Brainy, God bless you. Thank you so much. So let us read. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're going to read. Masikatarabazita. We are praying in the mighty name of Jesus that the Lord will touch each and every one of us here watching or we will be watching later. Spirit of the living God, we did not come here to worship a man. We didn't come here to worship a mammon. We did not come here to worship a tree. We didn't come here to worship anything that man made with his hand. We have come to honor the almighty God. We have come to praise the almighty God, to acknowledge his faithfulness to his people. Hallelujah. Therefore, spirit of the living God, we need you. Masikatara. Zikuturia Zanda. Masikatara. We need you. Lead us and guide us. Open our ears to hear your voice through your word. Whatever means you want to use to speak to us, my God and my Father, we are here. Oh, here we are. Sharpen our ears for your voice. Touch our senses to feel you, to smell your presence. My God and my Father, surround each and every one on this life, surround us with your angels for mighty protection. Hallelujah. And then use your right hand to give us power and strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for the lives of my brothers and sisters. I honor you and adore you. The mere fact that they are here, Father God, bless them. Hallelujah. May your peace be with them in Jesus' mighty name. Do not leave. And if you have any question, please ask the question and we're going to go together. But we are here to pray strategic prayer. We are here to pray the word of the Lord. Hallelujah in the mighty name of Jesus. So the book, the Exodus, we're going to start from chapter, four, uh, chapter 14, verse 1. Then the Lord said to Moses, Tell the Israelites to turn back and encamp near P. Haro, ha, Hahirof. Hallelujah. It's a name of a place. Uh, to camp near P. Hahirof between Migdol and the sea. Hallelujah. To camp between Migdol and the sea. They are to encamp the, by the sea. Hallelujah. They are to encamp by the sea. Directly opposite Baal Zephon. Hallelujah. Pharaoh would think. The Israelites are wandering around the land in confusion. Hallelujah. May your enemies think that you are confused while the Lord is leading you in the name of Jesus. May our enemies think that we are confused. They themselves, they are confused because they don't know the God that we serve. They don't know the God that is leading us in the mighty name of Jesus. It is our prayer. 
that our enemies be, will be confused, but they will think that we are confused in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever enemy is pursuing you in your ministry, whatever enemy is pursuing you in your marriage, whoever is that enemy that is pursuing you, Kereba Satan, Masekete, thank you, Jesus. Mandoreba sete reba shika. It's not a sin to speak in tongues. Hallelujah. Masokotoria zanda. Rabu sete interia zanda raba. Thank you, Jesus. It is not a sin. Masika taraba zete. So whatever enemy has been pursuing you, whatever enemy has been causing you to be lukewarm in your journey with God, that enemy shall be confused in the mighty name of Jesus. They will be confused and they will think that you are the one confused. Lord, we thank you for this grace. Thank you for giving us the grace of protection. Thank you for causing our enemies to be confused in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I give you praise and honor and adoration. I bless your name and I magnify your name. In my family, whatever enemy, whatever the enemy has been plotting against my family members, confusing them or keeping them away from the Lord. Let the, the, the enemy, those enemies be confused in the mighty name of Jesus. Let those who are pursuing us, Masi, let those who are pursuing us, let them be stumble and fall in the name of Jesus. Let them stumble and fall in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and I declare whoever has been after the children, your children, your ministry, that Spirit shall be confused in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But I will, I will, I will gain glory, Rabbi Sata. Thank you, Jesus. And I will harden Pharaoh's hearts, and he will pursue them. But I will gain glory. The Lord will gain glory. He is glorious anyways. He is glorious anyway. He is glorious. Our God is glorious. In every situation, our God is glorious. God was doing this just to bring the Egyptians also to, to himself. Because God is the creator of all. He created all things and all people. He created everybody in his own image and likeness. But sin came. When sin came, there are some people who have taken the, 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 the wider road, hallelujah, and others have accepted to be on the narrow path. That is why there's sin in the world. So Pharaoh today represents the, 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 the sin. Hallelujah. Pharaoh represents sin. But until Pharaoh accepted to come back to Christ, then he will remain sin. And any other person that will continue to, to follow Pharaoh will be in sin. And they will be against the ways of God. They will be disobedient to the way of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are here to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. So we continue. We are praying in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, whatsoever you ask in the name of Jesus, you shall receive. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When the king of Egypt was told that the people had fled, Pharaoh and his officials changed their mind about them and said, what have we done? Hallelujah. He said, what have we done? We have let the Israelites go and have lost their services. Anybody that is holding you slave, anybody that wants to hold you as a slave, let that person be arrested in the name of Jesus. Any spirit that wants to hold your marriage or hijack your marriage, hijack your, your ministry, let that spirit be arrested in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that spirit be confused in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that spirit be tormented in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare the fire of the Holy Ghost on them in the mighty name of Jesus. No weapon that is fashioned in the darkness against you shall prosper in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Continue praying. So the Lord hardened the hearts of Pharaoh. So he pursued the Israelites. Hallelujah. Verse 14. As Pharaoh and his people, the chariots and all his army, approached the Israelites, 
the Israelites looked up and there were, there were Pharaoh and the Egyptians. We are praying in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus Christ is the redeemer of the whole world. Jesus Christ became the sacrifice. Hallelujah. He became the sacrifice for our sins. You can pray in private, but there are some people who need prayers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Some people need to be encouraged. It depends on your level of understanding, your level of relationship with uh, God. But there are some people who need prayers. So if you don't need to pray, you can go in private and pray. It is very correct. You are right. But at the same time, there are some people who are called to be encouragers. Some people encourage other people. Some people, other people look up to other people to be strong. Hallelujah. We are not at the same level. The Bible tells us that God gives us a measure of faith. Your level of faith might not be my level of faith. I'm talking to my brother looking up. Hallelujah. So your level of faith might not be the level of faith of A, B, C, D. But those people might need encouragement. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We continue in the mighty name of Jesus. We should not be distracted. Let nobody be distracted here. The Lord bless each and every one. May the Spirit of God continue to lead each and every one of us in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. So we continue. I light my lights. Thank you, Lord. I bless your name. Continue. God bless you. God bless you. Wherever you are connecting from. Yeah, we are reading. I'm reading the Bible. Thank you, Jesus. But at the same time, you are asking questions. Be careful. Be careful. The Lord bless you, my brother. So this is it. So the Bible says that as a Pharaoh, as Pharaoh approached, the Israelites looked up and there were the Egyptians marching after them. They were terrified and cried out to the Lord. They said to Moses, was it because there was no grave in Egypt? Hallelujah. Was it because there was no grave in Egypt that you brought us to to this desert to die? What have you done to us by bringing us out of Egypt? Didn't we say, we say to you in Egypt that to leave us alone? These are the people worried. When you are worried and you are confused and you don't know what to do because you are seeing the storm coming. You are seeing, you are feeling the scorching heat. You are restless. You don't know what to do. It is normal for anybody to cry. It is normal to anybody to complain. Hallelujah. It is normal for anybody to complain. But uh, brothers and sisters, I came this morning to encourage somebody that God is faithful. Hallelujah. God Almighty, the creator of all, is faithful. As he says it, he will watch over his word that they shall come to pass. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So was it because there was no grave in Egypt that you have brought us in this desert to die? They complained. They said, we told you to leave us alone in Egypt. Hallelujah. They said it would have been better for us to stay in Egypt. And to serve the Egyptians. Hallelujah. It would have been better for us to stay in Egypt. My God, I thank you for this moment. We are praying the scriptures in the name of Jesus. We thank God for this moment, for this word. That sometimes in our fear, in our worries, in our limitation, we turn to want to go back to slavery. We tend to want to go back to the one that has been oppressing us, thinking that we were well off. 
may we be delivered from that mentality in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak in the name of Jesus that any man or woman at the my sound, at the sound of my voice, that is that has the mentality of a slave, shall be delivered in the name of Jesus. Any slavery prison that anybody has been kept, I command that prison door to open and let this brother out, let this sister out. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have come here to uh, to to uproot. In the name of Jesus. Any spirit that have kept anybody, any of our family members bound, we are commanding that spirit to lose its hold in the mighty name of Jesus. Any spirit that has held our mind, that our mind is a summer sorting, we don't even know what we ought to do. We don't even understand the life that we are living. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, let that mind be set free in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as you set our mind free, renew our mind in the name of Jesus. May our mind be renewed in the name of Jesus. My God, I thank you and I bless your name in Jesus' mighty name. The here is what uh, Moses answered to the people. He said, do not be afraid. Brothers and sisters, do not be afraid in this world. Do not be afraid, for there is a God that loves you, that there is a God that cares for you, that is, there is a God that is mindful of your well-being. Hallelujah. He said, do not be afraid. afraid. Stand firm, and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring to you. That the Egyptians that you see today, you will not see them again. You will never see them again. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. That sickness that you are struggling with, may the Lord heal you in the name of Jesus. That sickness that has been bothering you for 10 good years now, may the Lord deliver you. That addiction that you have been into, may the Lord deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. That marriage that you have been in, that is a struggle to you, may the Lord deliver you. Those children, Masikataraba, that Masikatara, whose joy have been stolen, may the Lord give them back their joy in the mighty name of Jesus. My God and my Father, Kereba Sata, Re Katara, arise and set your children free. Arise and deliver your people. Arise and deliver your image bearers. Deliver us from the lack of knowledge. Deliver us from the lack of understanding. Deliver us from the lack of wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. May somebody be delivered from the lack of wisdom. May the, somebody be delivered from the lack of understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for your faithfulness. We are talking and praying because God is faithful. We want to demonstrate the faithfulness of God by the scriptures through his word. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. We want to show the faithfulness of God to the Egyptians, to the Israelites in Egypt and through the wilderness. And we want to speak of that faithfulness in our generation. I decree and declare that my generation shall serve the Lord. My generation shall honor God. My sh generation shall magnify the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Verse 15. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying to me? Tell the Israelite to move on. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tell the Israelite to move on in the name of Jesus. Sir. We are moving on in the name of Jesus. In 2023, we are moving on. We, the children of God, we are moving on. No matter our limitation, no matter the struggle, we are moving on. No matter the challenges that we have in our workplaces, no matter the challenges that we have in our businesses, we know that we are moving on. For God is with us. Our God is with us. 
Our Father is the one that sustains us. Our Father is the one uh, that is leading and guiding us. Uh, he will protect us uh, even when we feel like our business is going down. Uh, he will protect our asset. Even Kereba Sata, when it looks like we are about to lose our asset, uh, he will protect us and he will lead us. Uh, I am asking today in the name of Jesus that the Lord will surround us with his angel, that the angel will, of God will back us up uh, in the name of Jesus. In our limitation to pray, the Lord, the angels of God will back us up. Uh, they will pray with us in the name of Jesus. The Spirit of God will teach us how to pray. The Holy Spirit of God will utter the word of God according to the purpose of God for us in the name of Jesus. We shall speak according to the ways of God. We shall speak according to the will of God in the mighty name of Jesus. May the blood of Jesus cover each and every one of us for protection in the name of Jesus. May your mind be renewed as we are reading this word in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. So he is giving now the instruction to Moses and uh, for the Israelites. Tell them to move on. We are moving on. In our businesses, we are moving on. In our ministry, we are moving on in the name of Jesus. Rekata Zetori Azanda. No matter how limited we have been in our ministries, we are moving on. Our church members are moving on in the name of Jesus. Our sons and daughters are moving on. We will not be held bound in the name of Jesus. Fear will not hold us back bound in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, for we serve the mighty God. Uh, we serve the God of power. We serve the sovereign God, the almighty God, the everlasting God, the God of the gods in the mighty name of Jesus. But in order to be able to move on, we ought to be reading the word. We ought to have a connection with God. We have to have a relationship with the God. Uh, hallelujah. We have to have a relationship uh, with the God, our maker. We have to have a good relationship with the God that promises, with the God that watches over his promises. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Then the Lord said, Hallelujah. Thank you. God, I thank you. So he said, So he said, Tell them to move on. Raise your staff. He's, he's giving instruction to, Hallelujah, Moses. Raise your staff. And stretch it over the waters, hallelujah, over the sea, to divide the water so that the Israelites can go through the sea on a dry ground. In the physical, this seems very impossible. How do you stretch your arm or your staff over the waters, over the sea, and then the stretching of your staff over the sea will cause the water to be divided, hallelujah, and then to have a ground sea or to give, give a dry land to the Israelites to walk upon. It's only a supernatural God that can do this, hallelujah. It's only the God that is holy. The Bible says that God's ways are not our ways. Your little brain cannot understand the ways of God. We understand the ways of God by being faithful to him. By faith, we understand the ways of God. And we work with God. And he does exactly what he has promised to do. Watch and see. Watch and see what is going to happen now. In Jesus' name. So he said, Moses, stretch your, your staff over the waters. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Stretch your staff over the waters and the waters is go are going to be open. And then a dry ground shall be prepared to the Israelite to walk in. And this is what he's going to do. The Lord says that he will, he will harden the heart of the Egyptians so that they will go in the waters. They will enter. They will try to follow the, Egypt, the Israelites in the waters. They will try to follow them or to go after them. And I will gain glory through, hallelujah, through Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and his horsemen. The, Egypt, the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord 
when I gain glory through Pharaoh, his armies, and his horsemen. Hallelujah. Then the angels of God, this is another strategy the Lord used. Then the angels of God, who had been traveling in front of the Israelite army, withdrew, and they went behind them. So that means when God sent them to leave Egypt, he sent angels before them. May your angels go before you. May your angels go before you. May your children's angels go before them. As their children will be going to school, may the angels of, the angels of God, the angels that God assigned for them go before them in the mighty name of Jesus. But there is a time that those angels shall come and be around behind, behind in the name of Jesus for mighty protection. My God, I thank you for the angels that you have assigned for me. Thank you for the angels that walk before me. Thank you for the angels that walk behind me, that surround me in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for somebody today. Your angels will go before you. That sickness will not kill you. Your angels will surround you. They will pray for you. They will intercede for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh. May the angels of your marriage be in your marriage. May your angel, the angels of intercession uh, be in your ministry. May the angels of intercession be in your workplace in the mighty name of Jesus that they will intercede for you. They will back you up in your prayers in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So the angels of God, was, the angels that were before them now, go behind and surround them. Hallelujah. He said that the pillar of cloud also moved from the front and stood behind them. Hallelujah. So the, the cloud, the pillar of cloud, the Lord used the pillar of cloud. In the night, it will be the, the pillar, the pillar of cloud will come. And for their protection during the day, the pillar of the pillar will become light for them. Hallelujah! Coming between the army of the Egyptians and Israel throughout uh, the night, the cloud brought darkness. Hallelujah! So throughout the night, uh, the cloud brought darkness. Man, amen. The Throughout the night, the cloud blood, the cloud blood darkness. That means that with that darkness behind the Israelites, uh, the Egyptians, their oppressors, their slave masters will not see them. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus that those who are pursuing you to destroy you shall be blindfolded in the name of Jesus. They will not see you. Whatever they are throwing at you, it will not come to you in the name of Jesus. Whatever tool, whatever instrument, whatever agent they are sending on your way, it will not come near you. They will not see you in the name of Jesus. Any evil bird that they sent in your direction, that evil bird will be blindfolded in the mighty name of Jesus. We continue our reading in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. So he said in the night that the cloud brought darkness to the side, to one side, and light to the other side, so that so neither went near the other, hallelujah, all day long. So the darkness did not mingle with the light. Darkness was behind the Israelites and then between the Israelites and the Egyptians, so that the Egyptians could not see the, 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 the Israelites, hallelujah. And then the light was in front of them. The cloud became light in front of the Egyptian, the Israelites, so that they can continue. They can be able to see, hallelujah. I decree and declare that the light of God will be in your life. The light of God will be in your light, life in the name of Jesus. The light of God will be in your ministry. The light of God will be in your children's life. The light of God will enter your city. The light of God will be in your land in the mighty name of Jesus. That no evil weapon will, will, will be able to reach you because of the light in Jesus' mighty name. we Reading verse 21, then Moses stretched out his hand and over the sea, and all that all that night the Lord drove the sea back with a strong wind east of the uh, of the east, hallelujah, and turned it 
into dry land. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible is telling us that when Moses stretched out, for those who don't believe, for those who think that the God does not exist, that there is no God, that there is no supernatural power. And I'm telling you, God acts supernaturally among his people. So when Moses stretched out his staff over the sea, hallelujah, the Lord caused the water to, to move back, hallelujah, on both sides that there was an opening into the sea and the Lord caused the, the sea ground to dry. Hallelujah. The sea ground dried up. Hallelujah. With the walls of the water on, on, on the right and on the left. You see the image. The water was splitted and then it, it formed a wall on left and right. Hallelujah. And then a dry ground was formed. I pray in the name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy is plotting against you will not work. For the Lord is with you. If you believe it, you say amen in the mighty name of Jesus. So the so that was a, the strategy God used with the Israelites for the Israelites before the Egyptians. That is the strategy that he used at that time. On that day, that does not mean that it's going to be the only strategy that the Lord will be using. He might use something else, but God is the God of all power, all knowledge, all understanding. He alone knows how he does his thing, but he can give you and I understanding of his ways. Hallelujah. When we get we have faith in, in the things that he did for the Israelites. Our faith will continue to grow that he will be able to do that in our generation, in Jesus' mighty name. Once he did it before, he will do it again. It might not be the same way he does it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So the Egyptians now pursue them. And all Pharaoh's horses and chariots and horsemen followed them into the sea. Hallelujah. During that last watch of the night, the Lord looked down from the pillar of fire and cloud at the Egyptians' army and threw it into confusion. Hallelujah. Your enemies shall be confused in the name of Jesus. Your enemies shall be confused in the name of Jesus. Your enemies shall be confused in the name of Jesus. Anybody that is suffering from any sickness and disease, I command that disease to live now in the name of Jesus. I command that mountain of disease to live now in the name of Jesus. I command that mountains of confusion that is as causing you to wonder if there is a God. I command that mountain of confusion to live in the name of Jesus. I command that mountain of confusion to leave your mind, to leave your family, to leave your husband, to leave your wife in the mighty name of Jesus. Masika, in Jesus' mighty name. He jammed. This is what the Lord did. Another thing, he caused the Israelites to enter by pursuing the, to cause the Egyptians to enter by pursuing or following the Egypt, the Israelites, hallelujah. They found, they too saw the, the water split, hallelujah. But they did not fear. They thought they could do it. But God was not on their side because they became the enemies of the children of God. They afflicted the children of God. Whoever will be afflicting you, child of God, call on your God. Call on your God. Do not even turn. Remember, our first scripture said that the Lord will fight your battle, that he will deliver you, that you will not have to raise or to lift up your finger, your finger for your defense, that you yourself will not have to lift up your finger for your defense. I pray that you receive that grace, that each and every one of us will receive that grace, that we will not have to lift our finger for our defense, that the Lord will defend us in Jesus' mighty name. So we are talking about the faithfulness of God. He that called the Israelites to leave Egypt is with them. He's protecting them. He's using strategies to protect them, to defend them, to take them out of the hands or the sight of their enemies the pharaohs uh, uh, of Egypt. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
we continue in Jesus' mighty name. So the, uh, uh, the Egyptian army entered. So he jammed the wheels of their chariots. The Lord caused the wheels of their, uh, their chariots to be jammed so that they, were, they had difficulty driving them. Hallelujah. And the Egyptians said, let us get out from the Egyptian, the, Israel, the Israelites. The Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. The Lord will fight your battle. Your enemies will know that you have God. Your enemies will understand. They will understand that there is a God that is protecting you, that there is a God that is fighting your battle. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, may your enemies acknowledge your God. Hallelujah. We are praying that your enemies will acknowledge that there is a God that is superior to their forces, their armies, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you for this. I bless your name and I honor you in Jesus' mighty name. Now we continue, verse 26. We continue. No, we, we already read. But the Israelites went through the sea. You see? But the Israelites went through the sea while all the entire army, Pharaoh, his army, his chariot and, and, and all the, the chariots were now drawn. Hallelujah. None of them survived. Your enemies will not survive. Your enemies will not survive in the name of Jesus. Your enemies, if they repent, they will be saved. But when your enemies refuse, mind you, that in, verse, in, in, in this verse, they said, the Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. Pharaoh's people, Pharaoh's army members acknowledged that the Lord was fighting for the Israelites. They acknowledged that. Now, instead of saying, God, we have seen your superiority. We have seen your faithfulness to your people. Now we acknowledge you. As a God, they refused. Hallelujah. They were stubborn. Hallelujah. They were stubborn. You shall not be stubborn, child of God. May the spirit of stubbornness in your house be removed in the name of Jesus. Every child in your home that has been stubborn, we arrest that spirit of stubbornness and we cast it out in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that if you have, your faith is a as a big, even as a small as the mustard seed, that uh, you will command that mountain to be removed and be thrown in the sea, that the mountain will be removed. My brothers and my sisters, I don't know what you trust in. I don't know what you believe in, but I have grown. I have lived to believe God Almighty, to believe that Jesus Christ died for me that he died for the sins of the whole world. So I dedicate my life to Christ. I surrender to Christ and I repent of all my wickedness and I surrender. The Egyptians acknowledged that there is a God that is fighting for the Israelites, but they did not repent. My God, cause my family members uh, as I praise you and worship you. Cause my family members to acknowledge that there is a God uh, that I'm serving, that there is a God that we are serving. Cause my neighbors to understand that there is a holy God that is worthy to be magnified, that is worthy to be praised and honored. My God and my Father, cause my church members uh, to understand that you are the God of faithfulness, that you are faithful, that you watch over your word, that they shall truly fully come to pass. My God and my Father, I thank you for being faithful, even when we are not faithful. My God and my Father, I thank you for being faithful when a time comes and we lose faith. My God and my Father, I thank you that you remain faithful when your children are losing hope. My God and my Father, I thank you that you remain Men na karabasat holy when we touch a holy thing in Jesus' mighty name. Let us continue. Also, Kotoria Zanda. 
but the Israel, the, but the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground with the walls of the water on the left and right side. The Lord saved them that day. That day, the Lord saved them. Hallelujah. May the Lord save you today. May the Lord save your family today. May the Lord save your family today in the name of Jesus. May the Lord rescue your family from the hands of ungodliness in the name of Jesus. May the Lord God Almighty save your ministry today in the name of Jesus. May the Lord God Almighty deliver that your son in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord God Almighty Deliver that your daughter in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord God Almighty deliver your wife from drug addiction in the name of Jesus. May the Lord God Almighty deliver your husband from addiction. May the Lord God Almighty deliver you from that sickness, from that deadly sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. We are praying according to the word of God. That we believe that God sent by his word. He said that he is the God that he is. Therefore, he heals you in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, my God and my Father, may the Lord deliver you from that hard-hearted in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord deliver you from unbelief in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray the Lord deliver you from the spirit of unbelief in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So the Lord delivered them. He saved them from the hands of the Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the shores. Oh, my God and my Father, if my enemies refuse to repent, then they shall die in the name of Jesus. If those who are pursuing to destroy my life, if they refuse to repent, then they shall die in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who are pursuing you, those who, are, who want to destroy you. If they refuse to repent, then death await them in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who have held your children bound, if they refuse to repent, because they acknowledge that there is a God that is with you, that there is a God that has been protecting you. But bear me, brothers and sisters, if they refuse to repent, to turn away from their wicked deeds, then they shall be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that they wish you, they will receive them in the name of Jesus. Any bad that they wish you, it will go back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus. Marokazete rebashika, ezondo rebazete kere, zikondo rebazata karaba. Those who have stolen the joy of your family, those who have stolen the joy of your family, may they repent. But in case they refuse to repent, they shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Those who are eating your finances, those who are eating your finances, my God, arise. If they refuse to repent, their death awaits them. In the mighty name of Jesus, my God and my Father, those who are saying that you will not go to the next level, those who stand against you, that you will not go to the, your next level, we are praying that they repent, that the grace of God fall upon them, that they shall repent. When they are Acknowledge that there is a God that is with you. That is why you have not been destroyed. But because they acknowledge that there is a God that is with you, then we are asking that they repent. But because they refuse to repent, may the destruction that they have wished you fall upon them in the name of Jesus. May the destruction that they wish you fall upon them in the name of Jesus. Those who have been eating your finances, my God, those who have been eating your finances, still your finances. My God and my Father, may destruction come upon them when they refuse they repent, to repent. In the mighty name of Jesus, my God and my Father, we thank you, we honor you, and we adore you. Receive praise, receive honor, receive adoration. Thank you for being faithful. Thank you for fighting our battle. In the mighty name of Jesus, my secretaria, eroko toria zanda, reko toria zanda, eroko zoto koto, I declare the blood of Jesus over this life. I decree and declare the blood of Jesus over somebody. In the mighty name of Jesus. Cancer, you will not kill that woman. Cancer, you will not 
cannot kill that woman. Cancer, we command you to vanish. We command you to vanish by the power of the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. That your family member will not die of cancer. Cancer will shrink in the name of Jesus. Cancer will shrink in the mighty name of Jesus. Cancer, go. Cancer, go now in the name of Jesus. Leave and never come back. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We infuse the blood of Jesus into our bloodstream. In the mighty name of Jesus. Erokotore bazata. Mandere bazetekeria. Zakotore bazata kata. Erobandere bazata. Rikatore bazata. Rekotore bazoto koto. Zandekere bazoto. Ikondore bazata kara. Zikotore bazata. Mandere bazata. Ikoro bazata kata. Mandere bazoto koto. Rikatara bazetekeria. Zanda raba shikataraba. Mandere bazata. Ikondore bazata. Pray with me in the name of Jesus. Pray. If there is somebody to pray, there is a God to answer. The God that we are praying to is the God that answers by fire. May he release his fire on that cancer now in the name of Jesus. May he release that fire on the cancer in the mighty name of Jesus. Cancer will not kill you, my brother. Cancer will not kill you, my sister. We infuse the blood of Jesus into your bloodstream and we flash out of your system every sickness and disease in the name of Jesus. For the Lord God Almighty is your healer. We're going to see in the name of Jesus. We're going to see in the name of Jesus. We continue to talk about the faithfulness of our Lord God Almighty. He is a faithful. Whatsoever he spoke concerning your life, that shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. The enemy will not be able to steal your joy. The enemy will not be able to, to destroy you. The enemy will not be able to continue stealing your finances. It is done from today in the name of Jesus. It is done from today in the name of Jesus. From this minute, you are possessing everything that belongs to you. You are possessing, you are repossessing, possessing everything that the enemy has stolen from you. In the mighty name of Jesus, brothers and sisters, believe it. Believe it and you have it in Jesus' mighty name. So let us read the last verse of uh, Exodus chapter 14. Hallelujah. And when the Israelites saw the mighty hand of the Lord displayed against the Egyptians, the people feared the Lord and put their trust in him and in Moses, his servant. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know who is over you. I don't know who, which church you go to. I pray in the name of Jesus that because you have seen, you have heard, you have learned about God doing Dealing with the Egyptians against, hallelujah, dealing with the Egyptians that were against the Israelites, that you have heard this, that the God saved them. My brothers and sisters, may your faith grow. May your faith grow. May you begin to believe God and trust him. Trust God and trust the servant that he has put over you in the mighty name of Jesus. Trust the servant that he has connected to you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you haven't given your life to Christ, my brothers and sisters, this is your time. This is your moment. Do not harden your heart. This is your day. This is your time. You don't know when Jesus is returning. The Bible says nobody knows only the father knows even jesus himself does not know my sister don't hold back don't hold back don't put it to tomorrow because you never know turn your life to christ jesus he will set you free he will wash you clean in the name of jesus he will deliver you from unrighteousness the bible says if the people that are called by my name will humble themselves uh, hallelujah that they will humble themselves uh, and pray Turn away from their wicked deeds and pray. Turn away from wickedness. Turn away from addiction. Turn away from sexual immorality. Turn away from unbelief. Turn away from the desire to kill somebody. Turn away from bloodshed. That the Lord Almighty will hear their prayer. That he will answer them. That he will deliver them. 
and then he will heal them from all their diseases. He will also heal their land. We pray in the name of Jesus that somebody will turn his life to Christ today in the name of Jesus. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus that the Spirit of God will touch somebody's heart today and the person will say, I repent, Lord. The person will say, I repent, my God. That God, today I understand. That God, today I have come to understand that you are Hallelujah. That you are. That I have come to understand that you are the only God that will deliver me. That I have come to understand that you are the one that so loves me, that around me, nobody loves me as you do. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Is somebody hearing me? Is somebody hearing the voice of the Lord through me? Is the voice of the Lord sounding, hallelujah, to somebody's ears? Remember God, Father God, sharpen our ears that we will hear your voice. My sacred touch our hearts that your spirit will enter us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you and I bless your name. I honor you in Jesus' mighty name. Remember the last part that we read. It says that when the, uh, when the Israelites saw the way God displayed his mighty power against the Egyptians, now the people of Israel trusted their God and they trusted the servants of God. My brothers and sisters, trust God and trust his servants. Hallelujah. Trust his servant. I don't know where you are. I pray that you find a Bible teaching God, a Bible teaching church. Bible teaching church, a Holy Spirit filled church that you will go. I pray that over your life, there is somebody who will be God's servant over you that will lead you and guide you. Brothers and sisters, so God bless you, but we are not done. Let us see in, in chapter 15 what happened after the people acknowledge what the Lord has done for them. Here we call it the song of the Israelites. The Israelites began to sing a song in Exodus chapter 15. Hallelujah. We came this morning. I call it a prayer party. Hallelujah. During this prayer party, we read the scriptures we pray, hallelujah. This is to encourage somebody to make, to bring to somebody the God of all creation, to bring to somebody the, the God that so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believes in him will live and not die. Hallelujah. They will not die. Hallelujah. They will live eternal life. That Jesus Christ, has been the sacrifice for our sins. Jesus sacrificed his entire life for our sins. He became victorious after dying for our sins. He became victorious. And that victory, he has left it for you and I. So if we don't have victory in the areas of our lives, it's because we have not asked for or even if we ask, the Bible says that we ask with a wrong motive. May the Lord deliver somebody from that in the name of Jesus. So let's read Exodus 15. Then Moses and the Israelites sang the song to the Lord. Then I'm reading the song. I will sing to the Lord, for he is exalted, both horse and drivers. He has hurled them into the water, the sea. The Lord is mighty and my, he is my strength and my defense. So the Lord is my strength and my defense. This is a song. When the Lord delivers you, you cannot hold than singing songs of praises or honor to him. Hallelujah. So the, he says, they said, I will sing this. I will sing to the Lord for he is a mighty. He, he is a, highly exalted, both horse and drivers. 
he has hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will exalt his name. Hallelujah. The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariot and his army, he has hurled into the sea. The best Pharaoh's officers are drawn in the Red Sea. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The deep waters have covered them. The deep waters have covered them. They sunk to the depths like the, the depths, the depths like a stone. Their right hand, your right hand, Lord, was majestic in power. The right hand of God is majestic in power. The right hand of God is majestic in power. The right hand of God is majestic in power. Let somebody say the right hand of God is majestic in power. The right hand of God is majestic in power. The way he uses his hand, nobody can understand it. The way he moves, nobody can understand it. The way his ways are not our his ways hallelujah in the name of jesus the bible says as the east is far from the west it's so are the ways of god hallelujah in the name of jesus the ways of god are things that we cannot understand so when he delivers us from our sins our sins are going to be far away from us as the east is far away from the west that's what i wanted to say in the name of jesus yeah lord forgive us forgive us oh lord lord forgive us lord forgive us lord forgive our families lord forgive our fathers Lord, forgive our mothers. Lord, forgive our sons and daughters. Give us the heart that, that knows you. Give us the heart that cries, Abba, Father. Give us the heart that cries, Abba, Father. Give us the mind that, 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 that believes in you. Give us the minds that think that you are the Father God Almighty. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. He said that your right hand, Lord, was majestic in power. Your right hand, Lord, chattered the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, we continue. In the greatness of your majesty, you threw down to those who oppose you. Hallelujah. You unleashed your burning anger. It consumed them like a, a stubble. By the blast of your nostril, the waters piled up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. By the Yes, sir. the waters are piled up by the blast of your nostrils. The surging water stood up like a wall. The deep waters con congealed in the, the heart of the sea. The enemy boasted, I will pursue, I will overtake them. I will divide the spoil and I will gorge myself on them that's the words of the enemy that's the enemy saying i will engulf you i will engulf you but they lie they did not know who they were dealing with they did not know Who's the children they were dealing with? Uh, they were dealing with the children of the Almighty God, the Holy God, the only Holy God, the only Holy God that exists and that will never die, that will never be destroyed. That is the, our God. That is the God of my life. That is the God of your life. That is the God of my church members. That is the God 